Hey guys, and welcome back to Z3 Cubic. Today I'm going to try and solve this 7x7, seven seven, one mile at a time. The goal of this video is to solve this 7x7, seven seven, but with one little catch. Anytime I want to do one turn on it, I first have to walk one mile. Conveniently, I'm standing here at mile zero of a super long trail that stretches from here in Wisconsin, through Minnesota, and all the way up to Canada. So as soon as I walk to the one mile mark tomorrow morning, I'll choose one turn to do on the cube, and then just keep on repeating until it's solved. Now I've just scrambled this up with a completely random scramble, and as usual, I've done a little bit of planning ahead of time, but I'm going to use the exact same method and tricks that I would normally use to solve a 7x7. Seven seven. Of course, this might take a little bit longer than one day, so I've also brought along some things that I'll need to, you know, survive in the wilderness for weeks on end. So without further ado, let's get hiking. So it appears to have rained a little bit overnight. As you can see, my watch says we've traveled zero miles, so let's start heading towards that first turn. And there we have it, mile one. My first choice is gonna be a move called 3LW2. Two miles, and my body is already one big mosquito bite. F. Mile three, RW. Four miles, B2. Mile five, 3UW2, getting these yellow pieces together. And for our first big milestone at mile six, let's do a 3RW prime to build one big yellow block. 3BW prime, the St. Louis River. I'm glad there's a bridge. BW, R2, first 10 miles and first thousand mosquitoes killed. Let's celebrate with a 3BW. BW2 to form this nice yellow line. R prime, 13 miles, 3BW prime, and a nice big yellow block. F. LW, 3RW prime, F2, where'd this sun come from? LW prime to make another yellow line. Ah! Yeah, I think that deserves an F. Mile 20, 3RW, and this is quite the change in scenery. U, FW2, and the yellow center is almost finished. B prime, 3UW prime, 3DW prime, L prime. And just past one marathon on day one, I'm gonna pause right here at this ominous sign and then head over to a campground to spend the night. Now, if you're wondering what my average camp setup looks like, first we have the bear bag so my food doesn't get eaten at night. Then we have the tent with all my other belongings, most importantly, a place to sleep. And that's about it. Good morning on a bit of a dreary start to day two. Let's see what happens. DW prime, there's our final yellow line, D. And with an RW on the morning of day two, our yellow center is complete. Just five more to go. LW prime, U2, LW, 3RW, RW prime, B, 3RW prime. And with an RW, we finished our very first white line. DW prime. And we have arrived in downtown Duluth. That came out of nowhere. L2, mile 40, and our first view of Lake Superior, sort of. Let's do a UW, 3RW prime, U2, 3RW, and our first white line is completely in place. Oh dear. 3DW, R, 3DW prime, F prime, 3UW prime, UW2. Yeah, looks like we're supposed to be going a little bit faster right now. And we've made it our first 50 miles, 3BW, U2, 3BW prime, that's our third white bar complete. B2, 3DW prime, the campsite's right there, the rain's about to come down, so let's get that tent set up fast. Well, that was just in time. Day three, here it goes. UW prime. LW, also beware of dog. Okay, I know this is entirely my fault for coming to Minnesota in June, but seriously? U2, LW prime, that's four white bars and a lot of mosquitoes. R prime, L2, UW2, 3UW2, 3DW prime, U, FW prime, U2, and for mile 67, I'm gonna choose an FW to finish off our first two centers. At this rate, we'll be done with all six by mile 200. F prime. B2, 3DW, UW prime. Oh my gosh, it's a little turtle dude. Hello. F prime, 3UW2, and a UW gives us a nice big blue block on the back. B, R, 3DW2, 3UW. And here's where we'll drop off for day three. And let's pick it up right here on day four. UW, R, 3DW2. Let's do a DW prime because by building a basic blue bar, our big blue block on the back has become barely bigger. L prime, 3UW, UW prime. L2, F prime, R, 3UW, UW, L prime. And with a 3UW, our big blue block on the back has been embiggened by a beautiful blue bar. UW, F, 3UW, UW, F2. Where did the trail go? 3UW2, okay, that's better. UW2, spoke too soon, the trail is closed back there, so we're on a detour on the road again. And here you have it, the world's most underwhelming mile 100. Let's do an R2, 3UW prime, 
are three UW2, UW, and BAM. The big blue block on the back is basically behind us. DW, three UW2, UW2. Oh my gosh, that is a wall. Now that is a staircase. Now this is a bridge. Now that is a, actually I'm not quite sure what that is. Now that is a lake. First time I've seen Lake Superior from a distance. Wow. R2. And that is the end of an exhausting 30 mile day. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. And now it's time to do it all over again on day five. DW prime, three UW2. UW2, that's our first red line. F, L, R prime, three UW prime. F prime, three UW prime. R2, three UW2 for red bar number two with a beautiful view. L2, three DW, DW2. Time to cross the river on this beautiful bridge. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alternate method, through the water. F, 3DW prime, man, that view never gets old. And with a DW2, our third red bar is done. L, 3UW2, L, 3DW prime, 3UW2, UW, L. All right, I'm actually gonna pause right here for the night at almost mile 133 and take a little detour into town to pick up some more food. Time for a beautiful lakefront unboxing. Ta-da! It's food! Good morning. My backpack is now more than doubled in weight, which I guess means it's time to get started on day six. 3DW2, UW Prime, R2. And with a 3DW Prime, we are down to just one red bar remaining. 3UW, UW Prime, L. 3UW Prime. Another day, another closed trail, another detour. Oh well. UW, 3DW, F2, 3DW Prime, DW Prime, L Prime, DW2. Okay, here's the conundrum. I need to get about 100 feet over this massive waterfall, and conveniently, there is a very nice bridge right there, but it's closed right now, so instead we had to take a three mile detour. And an hour and a half later, we made it. Now it's time to keep going. R2, and with a DW Prime, our red center is complete, which means that at mile 150, we're gonna be beginning our first two centers with an F, 3DW. F prime, 3DW prime for a nice easy first green bar. L prime, 3UW, L2. And we'll finish off the day with a 3UW prime for one more quick green bar, and then stop right here for night six. And good morning. Let's hope this goes a little bit better than last time's day seven. L prime, 3DW, DW prime, F2, 3DW prime. DW for probably the last of the easy green bars. L, UW, L, UW prime, L prime, DW, F2, DW prime, three UW prime, F prime, three UW, DW prime. L for loud river, three UW. I think I just swallowed my first mosquito. DW, L, three UW prime, three DW, F prime, DW prime, F prime, three DW prime. And finally, for mile 186, Oh, wait a minute. We're at camp already. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, day eight. Let's try that again. After 186 miles and just over one week, let's finally do a DW to finish off all of our centers. That's the hardest step complete. U, D, L, UW2, 3UW. There's a baby bear in a tree up ahead, and I think I heard mama bear nearby, so I'm just hanging out here for a minute to let them retreat. Okay, I think we escaped just fine, so let's do a 3DW2 to build our first edge pair. B prime. F, U, B, F2. Lovely spot to take a break, huh? U2, F, and here we go. Wait for it, we are at mile 200. So I'm gonna do a UW2, and I'm actually gonna restart my watch right here because I'm paranoid I'm about to hit the file size limit. So we're now at mile 201, see what I did there. So next up is a three UW, and then we'll do a DW prime to finish off edge pair two. D prime, B prime, L, D, L prime, B, UW prime, three UW prime, DW prime to finish off our third edge pair. L prime, R, and this will be the end of day eight. See you tomorrow. It's a cold and humid morning. What a bizarre combination. D, L, R prime, three UW2, three DW prime, DW prime, and we've already finished edge pair number four. B prime, D2, B, UW2, three UW2, three DW2, and time for some rain, DW2, R2, three DW prime. Let's do a DW2 to finish off our fifth very wet edge pair. L, U2, L prime, three UW2, 3DW2, R, L prime, D2. And that's the end of a very soggy day nine. And it's time for our 10th day of solving this cube. Let's do this. R prime, D, L, UW prime, and that'll finish the first half of our edge pairs. Now the downside of the rain ending is that the mosquitoes start to gang up on me again. 
R prime, U, L, U2. And it looks like we've reached our next resupply point, which means I'm gonna pause right here and head down into town to pick up food for the next few days. Civilization! Okay, first stop, post office. Next stop, pizza. Final stop chocolate milk all loaded up now back into the wet wilderness r l prime uw2 and with a three uw2 we finished our seventh edge pair and more importantly i think that might be some sunlight and even more good news we are at mile 250 l u l prime f and we've got lake for about as far as the eye can see l f prime l prime uw three uw2 End of day 10, start of day 11. 3DW Prime, DW, and that marks all of our first eight edges complete. And even better yet, we have now made it to the beach. F, U Prime. Okay, on second thought, this stuff is really annoying to walk through. F Prime, UW, 3DW, DW, R, F Prime, U, R Prime, F. 3UW, R prime, B prime, U prime, B, U2, R, DW for edge pair number nine. 3DW2, DW2, B prime, L, U prime, good night, good morning, B, L prime, 3DW2, DW2 will finish off our 10th edge pair, and you know what that means, just two more to go. B2, 3DW2, B prime, L, oh gosh, time for a car wash. U prime, B, L prime. All right, mile 296 actually marks the end of the trail that I've been following for the last 12 days. If you look out that way, all those hills are actually in Canada. So it's time to do a 3D W2, but as you may have noticed, this seven by seven is not quite solved yet. So it's time to turn around and keep going on a different trail. So we came from the south, but now we're headed west along the Canadian border. DW2, R, F prime. Now that is a very large tree. And that is 300 miles of hiking. Let's do a U, R prime, F. Also check it out, the other side of this river is Canada. And it's time for perhaps the biggest milestone of the day, mile 303, DW2, and all 12 edges are complete. Now all that's left is three by three. B, U, L prime, R. Busy day, but I found a nice little campground here to spend the night. All right, time to do some more three by three on day 13. B, and a D2 will finish off our yellow cross. F to L time, B prime, U, B, U prime, B prime, U prime. Time to finish off our first F to L pair with a B. R prime, U, R2, U. And let's do an R prime to finish off our second F to L pair. U, R prime, U prime. And with an R, we've already knocked out our Third F to L pair. One more to go. U. Looks like a tornado came through here. L prime. U. L. U prime. L prime. And with the end finally in sight, it's time to pause right here to pick up one more resupply. So I'm gonna take a really long detour and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now here we are on day 14. Let's finish this thing. Check it out, more of Canada right across this creek. Let's start the day off with a U prime. Now for mile 333.3, we could just do an L move to call F 2 L finished. But instead, I'm gonna be extra lazy and just do a B prime to cancel into our OL. R, B, L, B prime, R prime. And with a B move, we've got nothing left but an H perm. This'll be fun with no M moves. R2, L2, D, R2, L2, U2, R2, L2, D, R2, L2. And here we are, 351 miles since leaving that muddy Wisconsin border a full two weeks of nearly every waking moment spent hiking, the elevation equivalent of almost two Mount Everest, and thousands of mosquito bites along the way, many of which are occurring right now, it's finally time to do a U prime to finish off this seven by seven, one turn per mile. This has absolutely been the wettest, itchiest, and quite possibly most difficult 14 days of my life, so I truly hope you all enjoyed. As for me, I've still got two more days of wandering through the wilderness before I head home, so I'll leave you guys with this one last amazing view and I'll see you guys next time.